Kibera is an informal settlement in Nairobi, Kenya's capital, which plays a critical role as a center of political, social, and economic life of the nation. Kibera residents are disproportionately affected by a multitude of naturally occurring hazards, including fire, flooding, but also poor water and sanitation and hygiene. And this is compounded by general insecurity due to crime, child abuse, extremely limited safe spaces, and until recently, county deprioritization on fire and flood safety measures. Climate-related risks, particularly flooding, are a major challenge. Other challenges and insecurities linked to flooding include disease outbreak, loss of income, loss and destruction of property. During all the time, the community hardly receives any support from government, uh, but from NGOs and community-based organizations at times. Mostly it is women and children um, who are most affected and persons living with disabilities even more affected. And particularly with women, uh, more so single women, uh, single mothers are even more vulnerable. Some of the possible solutions to mitigating the insecurities include engaging the youth, um, putting in place flood mitigation, but also investment in well-designed public spaces that can bring about multiple benefits, including reduced vulnerability to urban risk. KPSP's Kibera Public Space Project is our flagship project developed with the community groups from Kibera and has since grown into 11 productive public spaces along the waterways of Kibera. They are sites of climate change, adaptation and flood resilience, pulling together our built work, our research and community capacity for resilience, constructing over a kilometer of flood protection and providing network services to 10,000 people per day, our participatory and integrated approach to community infrastructure development can easily be scaled up for larger scale interventions by government or other actors to transform cities. There's huge potential for investments to have multi-purpose use and our partners in Kenya really illustrate through their work um, designing participatory public spaces for women and girls. We see climate change events triggering violence cascades, but we also see the context of violence and insecurity inhibiting potential uh, adaptive responses to climate change. So people may be afraid to evacuate from their homes because of potential theft and looting. But what also comes across from the project is really how specific this is, both to the hazard that's being experienced, whether it's a flood or heat, but also to people's social identity, the social context in which they're living. So if we can find ways to invest in these multiple infrastructures, um, we can achieve not only an environmentally effective, but also much more just solutions to climate change.